How's everybody doing? This is Nick, Redbeard Size. I'm gonna make a video here about the T540 Mark III. I've been selling quite a few of these on my website and I really appreciate all you guys who have purchased one from me. They seem like they just get with it and they're a nice revision from the Mark II. So in this video, I'm gonna go through a couple things. Um, first, when you get your saw, um, you're gonna need to do a few things with it. You're gonna gas it up and put your bar and chain on and put some bar oil in there. And don't just go uh, straight to work with it. Um, with the auto-tune system and these saws, it's a computer, an electronic computer controlled carburetor and coil. They work together. It's always constantly going to be taking readings of uh, RPMs. It can tell the air temperature. It can tell the temperature, you know, of the actual saw, the different parts of it. There's no sensors or anything on the cylinder or the piston, but it takes readings and it's constantly adjusting the tune. So what that means, it's going to always run at its best or optimal for, for you. So a couple guys have uh, reached out back to me and they said that the saw, you know, they use it in the tree, they make a couple cuts, uh, etc., and then they hang it from their lanyards or their, their uh, tree climbing gear there and the saw will die on its own. Um, so we're gonna go through a couple steps here. Uh, what you should do when you get the saw, it's pretty windy today, but today seemed like a good day to come out and make a video where the weather's not too bad. There's no snow coming down. But there's some snow on the ground, but anyways. So what you're gonna wanna do is, you know, feel it up, put your bar and chain on, put the bar oil in there, fire it up, Give it a couple squirts of the prime. You're gonna see the fuel flowing through the bulb uh, four or five times after you see the fuel flowing. Uh, put it in choke, and then you're gonna start, you know, pull the saw till it starts. And then when it starts, don't touch the throttle. And this may sound weird or odd, because, you know, instinctively, instinctively you're gonna wanna blip the throttle and get her going and warm it up, right? So it's important for this first initial step when you get the saw to let the auto-tune do its thing. So get ready to put it in a piece of wood uh, and make some long back-to-back -back cuts. If you don't have a big piece of log, just make back-to-back -back cuts. You know, one after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other. And then probably do it for about a minute. You know, there's really no time per se that it takes to get the saw to reset itself because i'm in minnesota you might be in you know maine out, out west in california it might be cold here it might be hot there i'm using 32 to 1 you might be running 50 to 1 i don't really recommend 50 to 1 i'll just throw that out there but if you have to run 50 to 1 you know the fuel ratio is going to be different in the Air temperature is going to be different. The humidity is going to be different from where I am, from where you are. Um, so we're going to go ahead. I'm going to put some of this stuff away. I had to rig up my GoPro today on my clapped out tripod here. But I got eight saws here. They're all brand new and they haven't been fired yet. So we're going to grab one. Do that up. So this saw uh, is for Miguel. Miguel Leva. Sorry if I didn't get your last name correct. So we're gonna go through this a brand new saw. Just got ported by me. Hasn't seen fuel or oil or anything. There's not even the bucking spikes are still in the box. They don't come installed on the saws, but they're in the box. You just put them on. We're gonna go ahead and bar it up. And to some, this might be a you know pointless video, but I wanted to just make it uh, so to be helpful for you guys. Uh, so I don't want you guys to get your saws, and take them to work, and they don't run right. You know that's the last thing that I want for you guys. 
So we, I just want you to have good success with it, you know? And they are great saws once you get them tuned in, you know? I'm working out in the woods today, back of the truck. So we'll get her going. All the saws I sell on my website, set up to run. Oop, there we go. <laughs> gotcha. They're all going to be able to, all set up to run a 325 uh, speed cut nano. This is the speed cut nano Oregon bar. Yours will be a Husky branded bar, but it's still 325043. So it is a new offering in the world for pitch and gauge. We're going to go ahead and gas it up. Give her a couple shakes here. Get that mix moving around. Oop. Got her mixed in. We're going to go ahead and put some bar oil in there. So on these 540s, get in here with you. So you push it forward and you push it down. That engages choke. And here's your primer. So we're gonna start priming it. So there we got the fuel moving. I just pushed it two times, three, four, five. We'll go six, because the primer bulb wasn't all the way full. So again, we're already in choke, primed it. And we're gonna fire it up. So after I fire it up, you're gonna notice it'll start and then it'll be at a certain tone, right? The saw is gonna sound the way it usually sounds when you start it up and then it, I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm gonna leave it in choke and it's gonna go through a cycle and it's gonna change tune on its own, right? And I'm not gonna touch the throttle. Touch it. I'm not gonna touch the throttle. Now it's, it's a fresh saw off the bench. It doesn't know its own tune, so it dies, right? So right now it's going through the reset and calibration stages on its own. It's letting it idle for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> 
procedures that you're going to want to do before you take it up into the tree um, for the best success you know um, the sod really needs to be reset for your everything that it accounts for you know so i hope this makes sense and i hope it helps you guys um i've had a lot of guys i've asked them they call back they love the saw that's fantastic and i ask them like hey did you did you have any problems with it running while you were using it up in the tree and they said no and i'm like okay that's great what did you do when you got the saw after i shipped it to you and you received it and they're like well i took it to the wood pile you know i made a bunch of cuts with it tuned in the carburetor and let it do its thing like yeah that's fantastic a lot of guys that grab the saws right out of the box they put the you know they bar excuse me barred up gas and oil it and they go right to work and they're making short little blip cuts you know so the saw is not gonna run its best and it's gonna die and it's gonna bog out um you know in between those cuts because it's not a long enough cut for it to tune itself in it really needs to be ran in the wood so like take it you know you got a tree job you're excited to use it and that's fantastic you know get a couple logs on the ground first get some big branches or limbs whatnot and uh you know run it through that first make those long cuts back to back the startup procedure you know put her in choke prime it a couple times five six times get that fuel falling through there pull it till she pops most time it'll start in choke and then you know let it run and do its do its sequence of idling procedures there and then uh blip the throttle and you can take it right to the wood and make your long back-to-back -back cuts and if your saw for some reason ends up being you know gets out of tune on you as you've had it for some length of time go ahead you know start it up make those back-to-back -back long cuts again let that auto-tune do its thing um i don't necessarily think it's a bad thing on these husky saws it's just something that you got to do um to get them to run at their best you know um so yeah i hope this video helps hope it wasn't too silly and boring but uh yeah thanks a lot for buying a saw and thanks a lot for watching the video and hope you guys have a great day I really appreciate the business. Keeps me going. I won't be able to do it without you guys. So, red beard out. How's everybody doing? This is Nick, Red Beard Saws. I'm gonna make a video here about the T540 Mark III. I've been selling quite a few of these on my website, and I really appreciate all you guys who have purchased one from me. They seem like they just get with it, and they're. A nice revision from the mark ii so in this video i'm going to go through a couple things um, first when you get your saw um, you're going to need to do a few things with it you're going to gas it up and put your bar and chain on and put some bar oil in there and don't just go uh, straight to work with it um, with the auto tune system and these saws it's a computer an electronic computer controlled carburetor and coil they work together it's always constantly going to be taking readings of uh, rpms it can tell the air temperature it can tell the temperature you know of the actual saw the different parts of it there's no sensors or anything on the cylinder or the piston but it takes readings and it's constantly adjusting the tune so what that means is it's going to always run at its best or optimal for for you so a couple guys have uh, reached out back to me and they said that the saw you know they use it in the tree they make a couple cuts uh, etc and then they hang it from their lanyards or their their uh, tree climbing gear there and the saw will die on its own um, so we're going to go through a couple steps here uh what you should do when you get the saw it's pretty windy today but today seemed like a good day to come out and make a video the weather's not too bad there's no snow coming down but there's some snow on the ground but anyways so what you're going to want to do is you know feel it up put your bar and chain on put the bar in there fire it up 
give it a couple squirts of the prime you're gonna see the fuel flowing through the bulb uh, four or five times after you see the fuel flowing uh, put it in choke and then you're gonna start you know pull the saw till it starts and then when it starts don't touch the throttle and this may sound weird or odd because you know instinctly instinctly you're gonna want to blip the throttle and get her going and warm it up right so it's important for this first initial step when you get the saw to let the auto tune do its thing so get ready to put it in a piece of wood uh, and make some long back-to-back -back cuts if you don't have a big piece of log just make back-to-back -back cuts you know one after the other after the other after the other after the other and then probably do it for about a minute you know there's really no time per se that it takes to get the saw to reset itself because i'm in minnesota you might be in you know maine out, out west in california it might be cold here it might be hot there i'm using 32 to 1 you might be running 50 to 1 i don't really recommend 50 to 1 but just throwing that out there but if you have to run 50 to 1 you know the fuel ratio is going to be different in the Air temperature is going to be different. The humidity is going to be different from where I am, from where you are. Um, so we're going to go ahead. I'm going to put some of this stuff away. I had to rig up my GoPro today on my clapped out tripod here. But I got eight saws here that are all brand new and they haven't been fired yet. So we're going to grab one that up. So this uh, is for Miguel. Miguel Leva. Sorry if I didn't get your last name correct. So we're going to go through this brand new saw. Just got ported by me. Hasn't seen fuel or oil or anything. There's not even the bucking spikes are still in the box. They don't come installed on the saws, but they're in the box. You just put them on. We're going to go ahead and bar it up. And to some, this might be a you know, pointless video, but I wanted to just make it uh, so to be helpful for you guys. Uh, so I don't want you guys to get your saws and take them to work and they don't run right. You know, that's the last thing that I want for you guys. So I just want you to have good success with it, you know. And they are great saws once you get them tuned in. You know, I've been working out in the woods today, back of the truck. So we'll get her going. All the saws I sell on my website are set up to run. Oop, there we go. <laughs> gotcha. They're all going to be able to, all set up to run a 325 uh, Speed Cut Nano. This is the Speed Cut Nano Oregon Bar. Yours will be a Husky branded bar, but it's still 325043. So it is a new offering in the world for pitch and gauge. I'm going to go ahead and gas it up. Give her a couple shakes here. Get that mix moving around. Oop. Got her mixed in. We're gonna go ahead and put some bar oil in there. So on these 540s, get in here with you. So you push it forward and you push it down. That engages choke. And here's your primer. So we're gonna start priming it. So there we got the fuel moving. I just pushed it two times, three, four, five. 
we'll go six because the primer bulb wasn't all the way full. So again, we're already in choke, primed it, and we're gonna fire it up. So after I fire it up, you're gonna notice it'll start, and then it'll be at a certain tone, right? The saw is gonna sound the way it usually sounds when you start it up, and then it, I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm gonna leave it in choke, and it's gonna go through a cycle, and it's gonna change tune on its own, right? And I'm not gonna touch the throttle. Touch it. I'm not gonna touch the throttle. Now it's, it's a fresh saw off the bench. It doesn't know its own tune, so it dies, right? So right now it's going through the reset and calibration stages on its own. Just letting it idle for a little bit. procedures that you're gonna to want to do before you take it up into the tree um, for the best success you know um, the sod really needs to be reset for